Bwana asifiwe. Nisarimieni hivi. God bless you so much. My name is Caroline Nyakeo Ruben. I am born again. I love God so much. I am excited today and I'm blessed um, that God has gave my husband this opportunity to speak us to us this morning. So I, as he speaks to us, I pray that God is going to use him and that we will open up our hearts to receive from the Lord. God bless you so much. Amen. Let's appreciate her as she sits in the name of Jesus. Amen. Once again, I want to say thank you to the leadership that is our spiritual parent, our bishop and mom, for just allowing them to obey this call. At 40 is not a joke. It has taken the hand of the Lord. And we celebrate them. Let's celebrate them even if they are not there. Wherever they are, they are blessed. Once again, also to appreciate the pastors. Thank you. The, this is a great church. The first service, you look great. Thank you. We, I appreciate. I am honored for giving me this chance even to speak. And also the pastoral team and the ministry team. And also the men's executive. That is the men's. Because this was a men's week. So if it is a men's week, you accept at Sundays a man to speak. So I want to thank uh, our, with our leadership with uh, that is Brother Ken. And uh, I know the Lord is going to bless us. Amen. I'm Reuben. Have I said so? I'm Reuben Kamau, and today I'm born again. And Christ is Lord. And I was been thinking about 40, and I said that 40 is not just a number. It has taken the hand of the Lord. And uh, we have been looking in the last past couple of uh, months or weeks some habits for a healthy Christian. And I know even here people have spoken about those habits and we ended up saying that they are the spiritual discipline. And I know you know some, and because you, I know you know, maybe you can mention one or two spiritual discipline that you run through the service. Prayer, beautiful. Yes. Yes, meditating. And we thank God. And somebody said that if you want to know a Christian who is growing, a Christian who is moving from one level to another, you'll just know that they are conforming how Christ is. And allow me, with your permission, I will be using all the languages. Is it okay? Is it in order? And number two, we are going to read Bible together. Is it in order? Say my amen. amen. Ah, yeah. And I've said that if you want to know a Christian that is growing, or if you want to know yourself, you are growing, there are two things that you really need to know. Engage yourself so that you can be able to know whether I am growing. Number one is conforming like, a Christ, like Christ. Conforming like Christ. And number two is understanding the mysteries of the kingdom. When you can be able to understand the mystery of the kingdom, then you can be able to gauge yourself and know, yes, I am growing. And today, because we are looking about gratitude, today we are going to look up one of the mysteries in the kingdom, and that is the mystery of thanksgiving. The mystery of thanksgiving. I don't know in your lifetime whether you have given someone something, and you are waiting for him or her to say thank you. Yet it takes weeks, days, and months, and they, does, they don't come and say thank you at all. What do you do? What do you do? Tell your neighbor the mystery of thanksgiving. The mystery of thanksgiving. And I have come to realize that when you give thanks, there are some things that happen in our lives. And we are being able to move from one level to another 
growing like Christ because of this mystery. And number one of the things that happens in the mystery of thanksgiving, it is according to the book of Psalms, chapter number 92, verse 1 to 3. How does the Bible say? It is good to do what? It is good to do what? If you understand the mystery of thanksgiving, then number one, it is good. Good. It is commanded. It is been told. It is ordinary. It is spiritual to give thanks. And number two, First Thessalonians chapter number five and verses eighteen. The scripture says, "In what? It resembles to nasoma pamoja. In what?" Not, a, not some things, but in everything, including to that particular small things that you see it is not, you cannot be able to say thank you. The scripture records in everything. You do what? Even at times such as this as a nation, in everything we give thanks. Even as you are looking at me and looking at your family and saying, what will come out of this? But the scriptures remind us that it is not in some things, but in everything we give thanks. Tell your neighbor, thank you. Thank you. The mystery of thanksgiving. It is good. In everything, it is good. Let's continue the scripture. The Solomon, it's good. In everything, give thanks. For what? For this is the will of? It is the will of God. And if you can look at Matthew chapter number 6, where we have got the prayer of our Lord Jesus, it says, and their will, your kingdom come, and your will be done. So if you want your will or the will of the Father to be done, then we need to do one thing. We give thanks in everything because his will will come and his kingdom will be together with us. Thank you. And number three, if you can look that. I know there are so many. Number three, the mystery of thanksgiving, it is a secret to multiplication. It is a secret to multiplication. It is like a seed. Luke chapter number six, if you can have it. Yes. It's a story that we all know, we have read. The scripture says, now it happened on another Sabbath also that he entered the synagogue and taught a man was yes Luke 6 uh -huh. let's go to 10 Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Let's Let's look John, John, John 6, 6 to 13. Sorry. Allow me to look, look 6. I'm looking at the verse that says he was feeding the 5,000. It's John 6. Feeding the 5,000. Mm 
Yes, yes, John, John 6. Ah, yes, there it is. Let's go. Philip answered to him. If you can look at go verse 6. But this he said to test them. Who was saying this? It was Jesus. He said that for himself knew what he would do. And I was looking at this scripture and told God, may you help me to know what I'm supposed to do. Because many of the time that we do things, yet we don't know how to do them. But I can tell you, here the Bible says that, but this he said to test them. And he said for him himself knew what he would do. May you realize what to do at times such as these. And when you are giving thanks, may you come to understanding, to know what you are supposed to do. What the other scripture says as you go down to seven, it says that Philip answered to him, 200 denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may have a little. Uh -huh. It's continued to say, one of his disciples, that was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, what did he say? There is a raid here who has what? Five barrels of bread and what? Actually, he says, too small. It is so retro. Compared to the multitude that was waiting there, it was too retro for them. But remember, verse 6 says, he knew that is what he tested. He knew what to do. That is what he tested. Down the words, he says, what? Verse uh, 9, 10. Then Jesus said, what? Make the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the praise. So the man sat down in a number about 5,000. Yes, and number 11. And he took the loaves and then he given thanks. Can you give me the NIV, please, that verse? NIV, so that we can read together. NIV. Yes, Jesus said. Yes. And they sat down about 5,000. Verse 11, that is my key verse. It says, Jesus took the rose and did what? The first thing that Jesus did was nothing else. He took the berries and he took the small fish. And what he did, he lifted them and said, I give thanks. I give thanks. How many times have you prayed to the Lord? And actually what you receive compared to what you are praying for, it is not comparable. How many times have you committed yourself and said, Lord, I have purposed this and this. But the outcome compared to what is you expected it is so little like the small fish. Brethren, the mystery of thanksgiving. The mystery of thanksgiving. Then what did Jesus do? He gave thanks. Ah, tell someone, hey, thank you. Yes. He took them and say, thank you. And we all know that story, what it added up. That the people who sat there and they were told 5,000 men, excluding the ladies and excluding the children. And what happened? There was multiplication. And people could gather many other leftovers in that particular place. Maybe you are here and looking at me and looking at the situation that you are in and seeing that it is so ritual. The secret is thanksgiving. If you want to know the secret of anything else, the secret of multiplication is a thanksgiving. Maybe you are looking even at that point right now and looking what will happen next. Oh, I come to tell you this morning, the secret of multiplication it is thanksgiving. You just want to lift that thing up and tell God, thank you. Thank you. This county seems to say thank you a lot. Let me preach to them. Amen. And I know the Lord is speaking to you. Maybe in some areas, even as individuals, even to tell our parents, thank you, it will take the hand of the Lord. Yes, I am entitled because I belong in that family. Oh, because it is my career, I can be able to do that. No at all. The secret is thanksgiving. 
thanksgiving. Some of us, it is because of that deed that you did and you said thank you, you are able to move to another level because you said thank you. Number? Number four. The mystery of thanksgiving. The mystery of thanksgiving. It leads to wholeness and perfection. Wholeness and perfection. Somebody say wholeness and perfection. Wholeness and perfection. Luke 17 and verses 11 to 19. Let's see the story we all know, but I have come to bring it that when we approach to him with thanksgiving, because at 40, brethren, it is because maybe at 10 we said thank you. And at 20, we came back and said thank you. And at 30, we came and said thank you. And now we are approaching 40. We are coming to say thank you. Not because that we are so good. Not because that we did things in a perfect way. It is because the Lord has been there. And we knew the secret. The secret is thanksgiving. It's a story of the rapers we all know. And now it happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. There as he entered, what? A certain village. He entered where? Maybe that village was Zimmerman by then. We don't know. There he met him ten men who are what? Let's read with confidence. Who are what? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who stood afar off and they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Just a minute if you can go back. As they lifted their voice, when they were making their cry or when they are making their petition, they could raise their voice and they say, Master, have mercy on us. And this is what normally happens when we come to pray. We normally lift our voices and declare that God, have mercy on me. Oh, my Father, may you remember me at times such as this. Have mercy on me. Mm -hmm. What does he say? Let's continue. So when he, they saw them, he said to them, go. Yes. And so it was that as they went, they were they were, they were, yes, they were cleansed. And one of, look at what the mystery of thanksgiving. Out of the ten is only what? Out of the ten is only what? Out of the congregation in Zimmerman is out of who? Uh -huh. Maybe you'll be there, yes. When he saw he was healed, he returned with what? Did he come murmuring? Did he come silent? Did he come looking behind? What did he come doing? With a loud voice, saying what? Amen. And this is what I want us to carry. 40 is not just easy. I want us when we are going to be back, there is one thing that we need to do. We'll come with a loud voice, saying it is not about us. Saying that, yes, we were so many. But Jehovah, as we have sung, he has been faithful. That is where we are coming with gratitude and saying, thank you, Lord, because you have done it. Because you saw us through. It is not that we are entitled. It is not that we did things in a straight manner. Oh, we were mocked. But now look unto us. We are lifting a voice saying, thank you. Saying thank you. The secret, all the mystery of thanksgiving, it leads 
to wholeness and perfection. Let's continue. And what did he do? He fell down. Irrespective of what was happening, he fell down. And I know a time is coming for us even as we give thanks because we ought to do. Because we have said it is good that we come before him and fell down in his face and give thanks. He was doing what? Giving him thanks. Hata kama hutaenda na ingine enda na iyo. That when I receive my miracle, I will come back and say thank you. No matter how you look at that miracle, it is a miracle. Wengine tunapitia mambo mengi. Lakini ni mkono wabwana umetugarimu. Ah, kama tunaweza kupatia historia. Kama unaweza kuja hapa unene, tutashanga. Kwa imani ni mungu wa metuokoa. Ni mungu wa metuzidishia. Situishie u mungu na tuumpe utukufu. Tumuambie ni asanti kwa sababu in everything. And it is the will of God. We really need to give him thanks. Even as a DCIKZ, we have a reason to say thank you. Let's finish up. So Jesus answered and said, Were there not? Were there not? Out of the ten is only this guy who came back. <laughs> but they were. Nine, uh -huh. yes. Where were, mm -hmm. were there not only found who returned to give glory to him? Except, except, actually I was looking at that scripture. When they were coming to see the Lord Jesus, there was no description of who was and who is. But when this guy came back to give thanks to the Lord... Actually, it is being described. He was a foreigner, a Samaritan. Oh, can you get this revelation? When we come to give thanks because of the 40 years, we could be, have been told we did not mention our names. But we are coming here with loud voice and saying that me, I am blessed. I was lifted and the Lord was there for me. That is why I'm coming to give him thanks. And when, what does the scripture say if we go down there? He says, and he said to him, arise, go your way. Your faith have made you well. In another version says, your faith have made you whole. Your faith have made you whole. Meaning the other nine, they were not made whole. Meaning the last of the nine, they were just crashed, but they were not made whole. But this guy who had purpose to come and give thanks to the Lord, he was not only crashed, but he was made whole. Maybe you have been praying and God opened a door. You really need to go to back to him and say thank you because yet you have not been made whole. You really need to go back to him and say, Lord, thank you. Then you are going to be made whole. Maybe it is even your workplace. Maybe you prayed for a position. Yes, it is appeared. But there is another position, another level for you. The only secret that you can do is go back to him, tell him thank you, and then he will make you whole. Even us as children of God. And also when we are parents, we really need to go and tell them thank you. Because once we tell them thank you, we are not going only to be crenched, that we are going to be made whole. Ah, I wish you get this. Let me go to this part. They know they understand it. When they, you, you, you go and tell someone thank you, ah, you receive the blessing. Not only that blessing that you receive, there is another addition of blessing because you appeared and said thank you. Even us as a church, this CIKZ, the secret of it all is to come before him and tell him, Father, thank you. And I was leading and also doing some research on this 40. Why 40? You know, you can ask yourself, why 40 and not 39? You could have done it 39. And I've come to realize 40 is not a number. It is in the Bible. When 
January 2025 tukikuja hapa tutaanza the 40 days of prayer and fasting eh? why 40 our lord jesus christ spent 40 days and 40 nights fasting is it those guys who went to spy in the canaan they went for 40 days meaning 40 there is something if you look at the life of jesus christ when he finished the 40 days there was an opening in his ministry Ah, this is prophetic. When we are done with 40, there is another chapter for DCIKZ. We have been tested. We have been approved. Then what we are going to receive is the victory of the Lord. Why? Because we have known the secret. The secret is thanksgiving. And I know you have something to tell God thank you. That is why the scripture says, come to him. You name them one by one and see what the Lord has done. Why was he saying so? Because even if you say you are not blessed, there is something that the Lord has done for you. And that is where you can count it. You may not see it virtually, but having that breath of life, coming to worship him, giving him thanks is all he need. Thank you. And the scripture says the password of thanks. The password of thanksgiving. Amen. And I want us to pray because I love to pray. Because many are the time that we have never even appeared and to tell God thank you. And sometimes we look at ourselves and say that personally I'm entitled for this and this. Even the people who are employed, sometimes even when I say, I it is not that you are entitled you really need to tell God thank you when you open up that business it is not the must that you will have client it is not ask me I will tell you it is not but if you can come with this password of thanksgiving then I can tell you have all the very reason to say thank you Some of us, we just need to tell thank you to our spouse. Some of us, we just need to write a message to our parents and tell them thank you. We are so much hurting because of this word. And as, especially us as African, to say thank you is a problem. But it is in the scripture. It is in the scripture. The password is thanksgiving. And we thank our parents for realizing this. At 40, we really need just to say him thank you. Because he's our God. Because he's our God. Because he's our Father. Church, I want just to release ourselves and just tell God thank you. Because even as I welcome the worship team. And tell him thank you. He is faithful. Ah, he has done it. Yes, ulisema itakuwa kawaida. Lakini sio kawaida. Imegarimu huo mkono. That is why we want to say thank you to him. Maybe you want to say thank you to him in a special way. But just tell him thank you because that battle you thought that you are going to win. Ni yeye alikushindania. Hata katika hiyo magonjwa. Ni kwa sababu ulikuja ukumwambia asanti wakati ulikuwa umekuwa mnyonge. Na akakuzidishia wema wake diposa unasema ni asanti ah thank you lord thank you father thank you Yes, Lord. Wengine tu ni kuchukua vinyu ya vya tu kusema wastahiri ya santi. Wanguvu, siyo sisi. Najia moja ya kusema asanti. This man came with a loud voice. Church, may you lift your voices with this loud voice and tell him thank you. Thank you, Father. 
If you have no reason to say thank you, then you can join the DCIKC and say 40. We say thank you. It is a seed of multiplication. It is a seed of wholeness. We are going to be made whole once again. Lord, I say thank you. Lord, I say thank you. Lord, I say thank you. Oh. Oh, receive all the praises. Receive all the honor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jehovah. Receive all the praises. Ah, nina sema asanti ya subuhi ya leo. Nikijua imegarimu mkono wako. Nikisema bwana, pokea sifa. Si uchukue kanisa uchukue kinywa chako. Umwambie asante huyu Mungu. Because there is a secret in giving thanksgiving. Yes. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We say thank you. We have come to say thank you. We have come to lift our voices saying thank you. Even if you count the blessing that you have done. Oh God. We say thank you. Nasemani asante. Lord, we thank you and we bless you. We exalt your living name. Thank you for reminding us it is good. It is your will to say thank you. Many other times that we look at ourselves and say that you are entitled. It is because we, we, we inherit. But Father, it's all about thanksgiving. We come to say thank you as a church. We come to say thank you as a ministry. We come to say thank you as families. Because you have done it. 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 Yes, Lord. We want to thank you even as we continue, Lord. Looking unto the 40th anniversary, our hearts will be full of gratitude, saying that, Lord, it is not about us, it's about you, because you are the Lord our God.